Hi everyone, meet Max. Max is a teacher. Today, Max will not be going to teach his class of students. Instead, Max will be at a courthouse. Max was selected to be on a jury. A jury is a group of 12 people who decide if someone is guilty or breaking a law. A person who sits on a jury is called a juror. Being on a jury is a requirement for citizens in the United States. Being on a jury is also an important responsibility. It is a way for citizens to give back to their communities and help decide if someone broke the law. It is a person's civic responsibility to be on a jury. This is a civic responsibility because it is a way to give back to your community by serving as peers to the person accused of a crime. Today, Max and other jurors will be hearing a case about a man who is accused of stealing someone's purse out of a shopping cart. The jury will first listen to both sides of the story. This means the jury will listen to the man who is accused of the crime. He might say he did not steal the purse and he was not at the grocery store at the time of the crime. Then the jury might listen to a witness who is a person that was at the scene of the crime. The witness could say that they saw the man accused at the grocery store and they watched him steal the purse from the shopping cart. Next, the jury will take a closer look at the evidence or other clues that will help them decide if the person committed the crime. First, the jury will look at two pictures. One picture is of fingerprints that were on the purse. The other picture is of the fingerprints of a man that was suspected of stealing the purse. The jury looks at the fingerprints to see if they are the same. Take a look at these fingerprints. Do they seem the same to you? The jury decides that the fingerprints do look the same. This is evidence that the man committed the crime and took the purse. Next, the jury looks at evidence from a video camera that was in the store. The video shows a short man with brown hair stealing the purse. After looking at the video, the jury agrees that the man in the video looks extremely similar to the man accused of the crime. Max and the jury decide that the man accused of stealing the purse was guilty. The fingerprints in the video footage were evidence that he stole the purse. Now it's your turn to think like a juror and hear a case. Let's go on an adventure.